We're now going to add in a little high-pitched ostinato. We've got quite a lot going on low in terms of our registers and the use of our orchestra. You may want to look at your orchestra page on page three of your booklet, and you'll see there's quite a lot of instruments that we haven't yet used, things like flutes, um, high strings as well we haven't used. Um, harps would probably be too delicate for um, something that we're about to do. So we're going to sort of go for maybe like a high woodwind sound. So we're going to go add instrument track. We're going to still stick with Halley and Sonic. <clears throat> and I'm going to try and find a flute. So let's see what I get with flutes. Um, let's see what um, one flute sounds like. So if we just collect it. Sounds a little bit dry for me. So let's just try something else. What well, like these drawbar flutes. Let's see what they sound like. I quite like that. It's it's delicate but also quite mystical. So I'm going to just stick with the drawbar flutes there. Double clicking, making sure it adds there, and we are happy with that. So we're going to call this high pitch ostinato. Um, An ostinato is a short repeating phrase in music. So I'm going to draw this time half a bar because that's all you're going to need. So you can tell it's a half a bar because if you look at the top of the screen between 13 and 14, I've only drawn half a bar. OK, um, each one of my notes is going to last for two of my boxes on my current quantize setting. Um, if you have any problems with this, call your teacher over and they'll be able to double check for you once you've written it. So I'm going to find myself my tonic note because it always sounds, these always sound really good on a tonic note. So I'm going to find that and I'm going to draw it in. So that's just a nice tonic note there. What you do from now on completely depends on what you want to do. Um, in the notes one, two, three and eight will sound best um so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go g a b flat and d so i've chosen one two three and five and i've gone upwards you could go a bit more random um but you've only got four notes to play with and that's the beauty of it so one two three and eight are your best notes on the scale to use once you've written that in I'm going to control K and we're going to repeat that a couple of times. I think seven times is going to get me to the end. And this is what it sounds like. OK, and just to prove to you that it doesn't really matter which notes you end up picking, um, as long as it's one, two, three or five. Um, let's pick something a little bit more adventurous. So I'm going to go use eight up there. And then five, so one, eight, five, and two. And if I repeat that, it will also sound okay. So just clicking on that. There we go. And and we're beginning to get our composition beginning to come to life. Good luck.